So is everyone good to go? Yeah. Okay. Wait, you you guys aren't going to play on English? How can you like understand the game then? Shut up. <laughs> wait, wait till they go to the silent zone and start. All right. Let's just YOLO it. All right. So five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. I love you, Levon. Right. Bye. Okay. Hang on. Okay. So, and we're okay. ready to go. And the delay will okay. catch up in a second here. Boom. All right. Time starts now. Dude, we already got this really biased commentary because of what CC Never Ender said. It's like, I, I love you, Levon. You didn't say that to Squid. What, what's going on here? <laughs> it's what true, but I didn't share a bed with Levon. Or with Le Squid, I'm sorry. All right. So, Punche, what do you know about this game? I didn't know, like, nothing. Uh, okay, but here's what I know about the game. You look at Pokemon, right. you take pictures. That's true. Okay, it is true. a very good synopsis yeah. of this video game. So, long story short, you want to take the least amount of pictures and get the most amount of points. Yep. So, you need to take accurate pictures of Pokemon that give you good points. This is like based on their poses and stuff, I guess. Exactly. Yep, poses and position in the picture and stuff like that. Yeah. So submitting pictures takes time and uh, we have to hit certain point goals. So if we get the most amount of points in every picture, then that means we can hit all of our goals and we don't have to slow down and do anything different. So yeah, Squid I'm already the... getting cooked by Butterfree here. There's an yeah, RNG know, cycle so. that he probably could have avoided he if he had reset his console, but he did not. <laughs> he denied that. No. Uh, the two requirements for finishing the run is you need 130,000 points, I believe, mm -hmm. to uh, unlock the last stage. The final I think. item. Mew? You mean like me? Yeah. But, yeah. I, I guess it's the final item, but you need that to get the uh, the last, like to get to Mew. Yeah. And then you also need 40 different Pokemon pictures, I believe. That is correct. So. Yeah, so we've routed oh, out. Uh, there's only like one Pokemon that we can skip, and that's. Well, actually, there's two Pokemon we can skip, and that's Charizard and that's Jinx. Uh, both of those are very far at the end of their levels, um, so we can actually save a lot of time by exiting the stages before we get to those Pokemon. All right. It looks like they're pretty close, although Levon started a few seconds later. So he is going to be a little bit out of sync here with the video. Although, um, so because of the format that we're doing, this is not a, uh, like a best of three race. Um, so the format is one hour, five attempts, best completed time. Um, because Pokemon Snap is pretty RNG heavy and there are certain elements like um, like we said you have to get 40 Pokemon there's one Pokemon that is RNG if it shows up or not so if you don't get it it's a guaranteed 30 second time loss because of that guaranteed 30 second time loss um, it's almost no, I wouldn't say guaranteed but it's very heavily favored where if one person gets it the other person doesn't then the race is effectively over there's, not a, there's really not 30 seconds of time save um, at the top level so not getting Cloyster is just is death, essentially. So we've decided to, to do a different style where they are allowed to do a couple of resets in order to get the most amount of chances to Cloyster, which is about 10 minutes into the run. Um, so that gives them the most amount of chances to finish a solid run, and then we compare the best times. All right, Squid's losing a bit of time here because he has to go get apples, or he has to wait a little longer to get apples from Electrode there. So, Levon had 22,500 points coming out of Beach, and so he was able to get a really fast picture of Electrode that counts for 1,500, which ends up being 24,000, which is the amount needed to get the next item, Apples. Uh, Squid did not have that many points, so he had to wait a little longer for the Electrode to get closer, so that way he can get more points to get to that 24,000 uh, benchmark. And stuff like that is where you can really save a lot of time in Pokemon Snap. It's really the only places that we can save a lot of time. Um, there's lag reduction and stuff like that, and that's how you can save time. Um, but in general, um, if we just look up whenever we're not doing anything, which is why we look at the sky and the ceiling so much, um, there's not a whole lot else you can do. VC, VC. <laughs> well, so that's a good question, or it's a good good point. So the Wii VC is actually worse. It's even laggier, and uh, and it's harder because it controls like garbage. Um, but the Wii U VC runs at 30 FPS and is totally lagless. And it's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty, really. 
But uh, I would say Wii U VC is more cancerous than normal VC. Yeah, you're well, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's really bad. It's hard to play on, but uh, it's, it's good so to practice because at least you get save states. It's true, but it's so fast. So, so I'm guessing people have done decent amount of runs for this game. Just know when someone gets like a good picture or not. Yeah, it, when you play this game long yeah. enough, you kind of get a really good feel for how many points each picture is going to be. I have no mm -hmm. idea. Like I, I, I can't tell. Like they're, they're taking these pictures, and I, I can't tell if it's like any of them are good or not. Yeah, I mean like, that's some, fair. Even, like I'm not very experienced in this game as well. Like even some of the pictures I took, I was like, oh, this one's fantastic. Like four thousand points easy, and then it's like two hundred. <laughs> like just slightly <laughs> off center, and it just, like, I hate everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, this game can be very cruel sometimes. So okay. it was like pretty precise, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We don't have yeah. a we don't have a, a total grasp on like the algorithm that they use to do points, so it can be kind of tough. But um, there are some high score people. There's like a high score community out there on the internet somewhere. Um, I think on Cyberscore as well. Yeah, there's this very small community on the Discord. Um, it's mostly just like the English speaking people in that community. There's like four or five of them. Um, but they have a pretty good idea of how to get the most amount of points. But they do different strats, and they have all the items and stuff. They don't care about speedrunning as much as we do. Alright, let's check Levon's points here. Looking pretty looks solid. Like Ooh. kind of getting bopped right now. A little bit. Levon has definitely passed him up. It looks like it, but like if Levon's pictures aren't as good as they actually are, then he can fall behind by a decent amount. Yep. Like, like, say, Go ahead. like say he didn't have the amount of points that he had, then at the end of Volcano he'd have to wait longer for uh, Moltres. So that could lose him like 8-10 seconds if he didn't have enough points. Mm -hmm. If he decided to go for that, at least. Like like what you were saying like, earlier, Le uh, Levon had a Zubat picture that looked like it was going to be pretty good, and then Professor Oak goes, oh, that's not centered in the middle of the picture, so that doesn't count as two times, so you only get 2,000 instead of 4,000 points. So, But he has 56k, which is plenty of points to get the earliest Moltres picture, and that'll, Man, uh, that'll count. Get me. Did, did they both suck. get 56k? Uh, I didn't see how many points Squidward was getting. I was looking at Levon, unfortunately. Uh, I think no Squid idea. was. I think Squid was like barely below 56k. I might have looked that's, at it wrong. That's still pretty good, though. Yeah. Uh, if you're below 55k, then getting the earliest Moltres is kind of, um, kind of tough. Not good. Well, Levon had five, five, six. Oh, maybe I maybe I mis swapped that in my mind. Okay. And so, Squid has 56. Okay. Both, they both still so, have enough, but yeah. So Squid could catch up, I guess? Uh, so uh, they're both they're both on like Not a really. similar pace. Not like this. Um, but like you already see Levon just exit his stage like five seconds before Squid did, and Levon started his run later. So Yeah, this point difference isn't enough for like Squid to quote unquote catch up. Like Levon's like going into not... Oak check at seven fifty two and Squid's gonna go there in seven fifty nine. Yeah. So he's about seven seconds behind. In a game like Pokemon Snap, again, saving time is really tough. Because, uh, you know, the joke is that Pokemon Snap is an auto-scroller. How can you speedrun an auto-scroller? Uh, it's it's hard. <laughs> there's a lot of there's not a lot of it's, stuff. It's you can really, do. really dumb stuff. I lose probably like a minute to menuing, yeah, and it's really shitty. <laughs> The other thing that's really annoying about menuing is that um, if you try to go too fast, you get punished for it. Like, you end up losing a lot of time. Uh, Not just, like, a little bit of time. You lose a lot of time. Wait, to remind me about Moltres and, like, you said if you had 56k or more, then what happened? Yeah, um, okay, so we have different, uh, there's three different, like, I guess, quote-unquote, cycles for it. There's, like, the pose, pose list, and then early. Or earlier, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Um... And depending on how many points you have, like if you have a lot of points, then you don't need a good picture of it. So you can take the earliest one where it's like barely on screen, which uh, they both did. Mm -hmm, but if yeah. they don't, have, if they have like low points and they have to get a picture that takes longer to get, I yeah. guess. Yeah, it goes forward and it turns sense. around. Yeah, it turns around and then it's worth like 2,000 or so. I think about 3,000 actually. And then the pose one is like, about 4,500 or so. Mm hmm. 
and both of those options lose about seven to ten seconds. Uh, depending so ba on when ba take it. basically, the more points you have, you, you you like skip an animation, I guess. Yeah, essentially. Exactly. Yeah. So by hitting our point goals, we can exit stages faster. Yeah, which is why it's so important to make sure all the Pokemon pictures you actually take are worth a lot. Because otherwise you have to take either more time for some of the other Pokemon or take more pictures of Pokemon. <laughs> it, it sucks. Yeah. By the way, if there's any confusion, uh, there are two sectors in the Pokemon Snap community. One sector calls the pose, the size, or whatever you call it, the pictures, posed Moltres, poseless Moltres, and early Moltres. And one of them calls them Moltres, early Moltres, and early, early Moltres. So you can imagine, uh, oh, if you say early right. Moltres, there's two different things that people are talking about. Also, Levon got a cloister. Let's go. All right, so that is the RNG aspect. So Levon is going to be able to move on with this run here. And I think I heard it on Squidbird. Yes. All right, so we have... Yeah, yeah. We so have. that cloister, like you said, you get, like it's RNG whether he shows up. You get three chances basically if it's going to show up. They both got it. Yep. Yeah, so they both got it. So this is a good run for both of them. Mm -hmm. A good uh, solid start to at least finish a run. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And they do have uh, five resets, so they are still allowed to get a couple more runs in. Even yeah. if this run dies, so or if they don't like this run, they can re just reset, or they can finish this run and then go back into another run. They got time, but. Let's see here. Let's see these points. So Cloyster is pure RNG. Uh, yeah. I, it's, uh, it's, I, go ahead. Isn't it 50-50 per chance? No, it's 25% for a Cloyster, 75% for a oh, other. okay. Uh, but there's three, there's three spawning locations, and so the chances of getting at least one Cloyster is 58%. Okay, that's why I was confused. So, I knew it was like 50 yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah, so it's actually, you know more likely to get at least one cloister, but still there are times when you don't get a don't get anything and it's really annoying. Wait, so like if you don't get cloister in like a run, assuming your PV is good, I guess that would kill your run. Yeah, yes. so um like we said you need forty Pokemon to get into the, the final stage here. That's coming up after this stage. Um if you don't get cloister that means you don't get that unique picture. So that means you have to wait till the end of this stage to get one more picture. And that takes about 30 seconds for you to get to the spot where you take the other picture. So that's the reason why it loses so much time. Not because that picture in, in general is in that important. It's that we need the unique picture in order to continue playing the, playing the, the next stage. All right. Oh, see an up lag reduction and a down lag reduction. That's because Levon's going to do this strat here. There's another strat you can do to get a better picture on coughing. Um, uh, I started learning that. Yeah, I uh, find that I often mess it up. Oh, Levon! Levon gets the Weeping Bell snipe, which is, I think, I don't know the, the rates on those. Oh, Squid misses it. Um, I think it's like a one in three chance, depending on the cycle that you get. We have a setup where if you do it, there's about a 30% chance that you will hit the Weeping Bell uh, into the pool like way sooner and that saves about 10 or so seconds and uh, and Levon got it so he saved a bunch of time here and the reason you'd want to knock him into the pool is if he goes into it then he evolves mm -hmm. so you want to make sure you get both Weeping Bell and the whatever it's actually called the Victory yeah. Bell I said I one in three uh, Collins is saying it's about 30% so it sounds about right also, uh, yeah, but it's back up now. I'm going to refresh it here. Okay. Yo, Squid get a zero pick valley. So here's another thing. Um, you need 130,000 points and you need 40 pictures. Nice. Um, by getting the Weaving Bell Snipe, you lose a lot of points, but you able, you're able to get out of that stage 12 seconds faster. Um, every picture that you take and submit takes about four seconds. So every picture that you have to do it loses four seconds. So Squid doesn't have to take any more pictures here, <laughs> but I think Levon might. I don't. I didn't see his points exactly. Um, so but he's playing Celeste, so I think he's okay. He's fine. I'm gonna refresh this stream while we got a chance. Wait, why? Why? Why, why do we see Celeste right now? Because Levon's a silly boy, and uh, 
So this is this stage is a very long stage, and there's nothing <laughs> no, for us to Celeste. do. So we um we actually just do lag reduction for about two and a half minutes. <laughs> so uh, this is a point in the run where uh, you know you take a deep breath, you uh, you get some water, you uh, you stand up, you do some stretches, you do your taxes. Wait, you don't. You don't... You don't do anything for like two minutes. Well, you do no. some lag reduction stuff, but for the most part, it's really, really boring up until the very end. It's, it's literally just like looking up. Oh, yeah, this is if for uh, for more beginner runners, like for people who are newer, um, you can use this stage to catch up on points because you do need that hundred thirty thousand in order to to get the final item. Good luck. Yeah, and yeah. Um, and so if you don't have it, you need to get pictures here. Um, but because both these runners have 130,000 points already going in, so that means they save that time. They don't need anything else. So, But they do have to go all the way to the end of the stage because there's a special exit, kind of like with River, where you threw a pester at the Porygon to uh, go to the next stage. Um, you have to do some Squirtle balling here. You have to uh, shoot Squirtle up the mountain and knock Mankey off. Also, you may notice that uh, Levon took one extra picture. He had to take a picture of Squirtle because he did not have 130,000 points. He actually has, I think, 128, probably. So he has to make up the point difference in order to get the last the item. Oh, no. Chat. Did he miss? Yeah, he missed a little bit. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. Yeah, I'm not terrible, but um, Levon missed the, uh, the Mankey there. And so he lost a bit of time there. You can actually hit the the Mankey and and start the cutscene a little sooner. Um, it's not a huge amount of time, but it's about he lost about five or six seconds there, which is not fun. No, so I guess we didn't. Place. Go ahead. Yes. We didn't explain it to you. Squid like but... Squid clearly did that better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could see what you were supposed to do. Yeah. So very um, easily we didn't really. See. We didn't explain it super well because we, I don't think we talked about it at all. Uh, so we unlock uh, two different things. We unlock the apple and then the pester ball, which is kind of like this ball that has smoke coming out of it and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so they kind of do different things to Pokemon depending on the kind. Um, I'd say a majority of the Pokemon like the apple more. So like if they get if they're eating an apple, then they're worth more points, and they'll usually chase the apple, and then. Uh, for certain Pokemon, like we saw uh, the know, the Goop one. I don't remember what he's called. Grimer. Yeah, Grimer. Grimer. And Muck. Yeah, see there you, the Goop there one. You go. Grimer and Muck. <laughs> yeah, see, you you throw a Pester Ball at it, and then he gets really happy, and so he's worth more points. Mm -hmm. They just do various things. Like we threw the Pester Ball at the Mankey, so he knocked back into the uh, the, the button. Yeah, just uh, just to keep you up to speed, what's going on right now? So, after you finish Valley, you talk to Professor Oak, and Professor Oak goes, "Oh, by the way, on every stage there is a uh, like an object, like in nature, like a tree or a mountain that looks like a Pokemon. Uh, take a picture of that in every stage and bring it back to me, right? And uh, and so that doesn't activate until this part of the game." So if you did it earlier, it wouldn't count. So now we have to go back to all the stages and, and get those pictures. So you're going to see them going through and uh, and activating the signs and things like that in order to take pictures of them. And that's why we need all the items, because the river sign and the tunnel sign both require the flute in order to get those those uh, those signs. Seems like Professor Oak is just an asshole in this game. <laughs> he is. Yeah, he's uh he's something else. Also, oh, this you game is not else. like this game is not PTA friendly. Cuz that, that 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 innocent Mickey just got bopped for cuz oh, yeah, for, sure. like, for sure. <laughs> we went into their habitats and we just just destroyed them. This is a first person now, shooter though, so you know, what do you expect? All right, Punky, I bet we've explained a lot of the mechanics. What do you think about the game? I mean, it's cooler than I thought before, but I don't see myself running it still. That's fine. That's fine. I just, I just wanted to improve your opinion on it. Just like more technical than I previously thought, I guess. Uh, trust me, we get that a lot. 
<laughs> At least I get that a lot. Um, did Squid get the flute in range? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, it was really late. Uh, no, no, he did not. Oh. Oof. Yeah, Pikachu was not close enough to that uh, that egg. Oof. So I think we're gonna see a reset from Squid. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Yeah. To throw. I think really. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, get it's it. like a 20, like, 30 second time loss. I get it. No, I guess if he knows. I bet he's watching, so he knows Levon is on the pace that he is. Yeah. It's rough because so, like, Levon is was, 15 seconds behind his PB, which means he should be getting uh -huh. like a 21.05 or so. Yeah, that's exactly what pace it is. But, like, I was going to say maybe he should have finished it, but no. But because he knows Levon is on such good pace, there's no point continuing it. Mm -hmm. Wait, so when the when the timer on the stream hits zero, is that when it's like over? Because that's um, the last point they can start a run. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so that one hour time limit, I was saying, um, after the forty minute mark, you cannot start another run. So you can finish the run that you're on, uh, but you can't do it anymore. Even if so you it have takes like an hour max yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Essentially. Okay. Um, if someone wants to throw in the towel early, um, they're welcome to. But uh, generally speaking, the matches can go up to about an hour. It takes a little longer than an hour if they go the full length. But um, but yeah, that's true. Just mainly as a twenty-one to five. What I tell you, mainly as a um, just a, a measure to keep it on track. Because I do have a tournament to run. Squid needs the PB if he wants to be Levon. <laughs> yeah, which is not good. That 2105 is actually 6th place. No, 7th place. I'm 6th place with 2100. 21 uh, flat. So that's sub proto man. Yeah. So Levon, or not Levon. Uh, Squid would have to move up to 7th place in order to beat this run. Um, although Squid's top Wait, 10, so right? Yeah. I think so. Wait, so if. If Elvon, like, what happens if he, like, does another one run right now? Would his time be, like, gone? If he beats, no, he, if he beats he the time, we'll update it to the better time. But he could do, like, more attempts and try to beat it. Correct. And that yeah. would count. Yeah, yeah. However, I'm, I don't think he's going to do more. I'm not I sure. I mean, oh, maybe. we see Celeste, so it doesn't look I like I see it. Celeste. Maybe he's giving up. Oh, wait, no, he oh. just restarted his timer. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's just joking around because he's a silly boy. Squid said his run was bad, so he's going to reset it, which is probably not a bad idea. Um, that run had some issues, but we're going to see it in its full force now. You can barely see the points. They go way too fast with this capture card of his. He has 22,450. That's so close. Um, Sad. So he is 50 points away. Luckily, though, he just has to wait for, like, an, an extra spin on, uh, on the electrode here. And that should do it right there. Oh, Levon's going to reset again. Okay. So, finishing a run doesn't count towards the resets. Um, not that it really matters too much. We haven't had anybody really use up all their resets in, in a good amount of time. So I guess Elvon's just trying to get, like, perfect RNG or something on this first level? And, uh, no, uh, he's so just I, a... So... <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so he... <laughs> the reason he reset on that Pidgey is because he just didn't press A at the right time. <laughs> so he didn't, uh... It's not what character, is it? I, I don't remember. So he just, uh, just reset over that. The only instance of RNG in this first level, as far as I know, is Butterfree. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But the Butterfree is easily manipulated by just resetting the console before every, or shutting off and turning on the console every round. If you can do a reset, that works too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to do a hard cycle, you just do soft reset. I must say, do like some runs in the stream before, and he would like reset on the first level. Yeah, there's a so couple things. It, it depends where. Uh, one of the things that's kind of annoying is that um, there is a tutorial, you know, quote unquote tutorial in this game, and it's there's those three Pidgeys at the very beginning you have to take a picture of. 
um, the game will like stop and tell you like now press A, you know, and uh, so you can time it like one, two, three, and kind of go through it pretty fast. Um, that's three resets. Two more. Um, and uh, it's kind of annoying because there's like a chance that one of those pictures will like freeze for a few frames, unfreeze, and then refreeze again. Um, it's just a kind of a weird quirk in the in the programming. Um, so it's possible that you're like you're getting ready to time it, and then it freezes, then unfreezes, then freezes again, and you tap A when it's frozen or when it's unfrozen and so it, it doesn't count and so it's like you take an extra picture and so um that throws people off and sometimes people reset because of that um because one of the it's things that fun. happens is um because we know how many pictures we're going to take and exactly which pictures we are going to take we know how the menu is going to look at the end oh squid that's how it counts for squid um so one of the parts of the menuing and part of the run is that you have to know where all the pictures are and know the fastest way to go through the menu Wait, did something bad just happen to Squid? Uh, so, yeah. so you see that uh, Magnemite, if, yeah. so you try to put throw the apple like, right next to the cart thing so he comes really close to you, so you get like really good, uh, like, I don't know. So it's size. like fully set picture, yeah. it's size. I couldn't think of a word for whatever reason. So you get a really good size. But he took the picture too late where the Magnemite was like running away from him and was like completely grayed out. And if you take a picture of that, Professor Oak doesn't realize it's a Magnemite. Yeah. So it doesn't count. It's a, it's a weird mechanic, but some Pokemon don't count as pictures unless they're doing a specific pose. And, um, and Magnemite will only do that if you throw an apple at it. Otherwise, it, um, it doesn't count as a picture. You're telling me that not only is Oak like an asshole, but he's also a dumbass? Yeah, yeah, he's a total idiot. You can't recognize it's a Magnemite. I got another reset from Squid here. He's got 13 minutes. Both runners got another reset from Levon as well. Yeah, he um, had 52,000 points. That was a lot less than the first run where he had like 56k. Yeah, it's because he lost about 3,000 on, um, on Magnemite. So he would have had about 55, something like that. <laughs> Write it out. <laughs> um, but I was gonna say, uh, we are all on tangent. And I forgot. Ah, who cares? Do, 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 do. Yes, Candy, you are. You have a mod sword. You are allowed to do that. All right. Oh, I was going to say, I know what I was going to say. Um, so, Coyster is about 10 minutes into the run. So, because both runners have about 12 minutes on the clock right now, um, they can both make it to River, see if they have a Coyster, and then do another reset and start another run. Um, so, they're not going to reset here? Probably, probably. not. Um, I think Levon is actually on his last run, if I counted that correctly. He's been resetting a lot on Beach. Because he's a Resetti boy. Um, but uh, So he shouldn't have any more resets anyways. But Squid still has one or two more. So he can actually reset if he doesn't get Coyster and try again. Which he'll need to. If he doesn't get Coyster, that means essentially the best time he's going to be able to get is like a 2130, 2140. And uh, that's just not going to cut it because Levon's got a 2105. Depressing. I was gonna ask if this is like double elimination, but I saw that's losers round. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> who, who did these up? Uh, who did these players lose to? Squid uh, lost to Drogi. Yep. If I remember right, that is correct. What time did Drogi get? Um. No what, idea. When was that? A couple days ago. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what time Drogi got because it wasn't good. It was like a twenty-one forty-four, and Squid got a twenty-one forty-eight. Like they both had, I think. Yeah, I think they both didn't right. have Cloyster, and um, and Droki kind of just threw the run a little bit. But um, wait, so El Elvon is a, is like beast mode right now. Yes. Yeah. Pretty this much. Is a, is a good run. Wait, would you say that twenty one oh five could like realistically win him the tournament? Um, no. Mm, 
It's close. It is close. Um, but Drogi got a 2143. Um, I'm oh, sorry, 2043. I'm sorry. In uh, in his race against CJ, and that was world record at the time. Um, Liam later got uh, 2040 a few days later. Um, but that 2043 in the in the tournament is definitely the like, probably the best run we've seen so far, and will maybe might be the best run we've seen the whole tournament. Um, but it's uh yeah, a 2105 would not win grand finals. At least. I hope it wouldn't. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. If it does win, that's going to be a little unfortunate. Um, we live in a world where Liam Kings is going to be in grand finals in the Civ tournament. Oh, yeah. The good world. It's nutty. It's funny because like, I literally saw him play Snap for like, the first time at GDQ. Like, literally, I, I was watched there. his, yeah. like... I watched his, like... His, I think it was either a 24 or a 23. I was there for that. Yeah, like I was watching. I was like, him, oh, like, nice. I saw a little timer on his phone. He got like a 26 minute time. And I was like, yay, you did it. Like I was patting yeah. him on the back, like, yay, <laughs> you're going to be a new runner someday. And then he gets world record like two months later. I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, when he got world record, like I figured he had been running the game for around two months. There's like a month and a half to two months, roughly, I guess. Was he like that yeah. with SM64 as well? <laughs> That's uh, like kinda. Probably not on yeah, the same like, time not, scale, but no, not the same time scale. But like he's either one of the fastest improved, like fastest improving players or the fastest. Mm -hmm. He's up there. Well. And then he just stopped playing for forever, or stopped publicly playing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Back back in the day, like Cheese got world record after playing the game for like a year or so, which is really insane. And at that time, Cheese was definitely the fastest improver. But um, by the one year mark, Liam might have been his his improvement rate might have been a little bit better than Cheese. It was pretty close. But wow. Liam is Liam has clearly shown that he's like a really good speedrunner. He just like improves mm -hmm. really fast. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's like his practice techniques or whatever. But uh <laughs> the amount of Well he told me that he's half Korean at uh -huh. awesome game, so there you go. <laughs> he puts mm -hmm. in insane amounts of practice though. Okay. Like he's practicing I swear like twelve hours a day. Oh, gosh. So here we're seeing uh, Levon actually didn't get great points on that Magneton. Um, I noticed it was he, terrible. He, he didn't drink. He didn't bring it closer. Um, so whenever after it finished transforming, it was really far away. Um, so he's gonna lose some points on that. But he did exit pretty fast, so he'll be he'll be all right. But he will lose about a thousand points, I think. Um, Squid that's kind of the, go ahead. That's kind of cool what Squid did right there. Like like right before the electrode. Uh, blew up he took a picture mm -hmm. yep that's why we uh throw the apple at the electrode before taking the magneton picture yep it's uh it's kind of a tight setup but you can essentially get oh no menuing um you can get that magnemite set up take a few pictures of him and then move them into position throw the apple at electrode get the cutscene like moving and then get that picture of like to uh, Magnemite, sorry, right before he, it finishes out. It's very close. Ooh, yeah, he does not get enough points. Like, that was not uh, centered. He looked too high up. Magneton is weird. Um, uh, wow, that, that those points are... That, that's not many points. Oh, yeah, no, it's, no, it's not. No, that's very low. He, um, not considerable, actually. Yeah, Magneton... I mean, yeah. Oh, wait, Squid needs to... Oh, did Squid... <laughs> Squid's been playing SM64. Oh, he's not gonna remember. Okay, he's at. He was at 16 seconds. 16 seconds. Squid did his timer from power on, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of funny. Oh, oh. So you might. I don't know if you saw, but um, is he gonna reset? I'll allow him to reset if he wants. Yeah, I'll let you reset. That was a, a weird thing. It's only 30 seconds, and I'll let you do it. 
for the interest of the tournament, I will allow this. Okay, cool. It's going to reset here. Squidward's probably throwing a tantrum and is like cursing in this Hank Hill accent. <laughs> God like. damn it, Bobby. <laughs> it is a I great. I have not died in WD 40. He does a great Hank Hill. Hill. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how he does it. Insane. It's shocking. He does a pretty good Trump impression too. He does a lot of good impressions. Indeed. If you haven't trampled, never acknowledged one of these tournaments. <laughs> Won't fund it or anything. Sad. Liam sat through three hours of my drunk rambling about this game. He has hella patience. I believe it. I don't. I disagree yeah. with that. Uh, Levon, you do not have any more resets. I don't have my notepad open because I'm a bad tournament organizer, but I am 99% sure you definitely don't have any more resets. You reset on beach like three or four times, so. Make the most of this wait, one. Wait, so how many resets do they have to bottle? Um, five. Five. Er, yeah. I think originally I was supposed to have it as only four resets, but I've been doing five for the last couple of rounds, and so I'm like, eh, just leave it at five. Okay, that was good. No, squid. I lost 6,011 points. This, uh, because the wings are closed, oh, this butterfly is wow. not going to be good. Also, am I'm, I super far behind? I'm, I'm guessing the butterfly is like 15. Potentially less. No, actually 15. 15 is. Oh no, that, that Lapras. Do I have another reason? Oh, 27. <laughs> that was way better than I thought. Uh, yeah. Last one. 19. Rig tournament. I know that he used three. Right, Levon's done. He should have a fourth one, but. I think. YOLO. Sure, Levon. Wait, so Squid hasn't what? reset five times, anyways? Or what? I'm okay, pretty sure this is his last apparently. one. I'm a terrible Wait, organizer. So <laughs> Wait, so why did he ask if he has another reset? I guess he wasn't keeping track either. He wasn't keeping track no, either. Nobody, nobody, nobody ever keeps track. track. <laughs> to be fair, we usually don't get all the way to five. Uh, we usually just finish their runs. But uh, I am going to... If everyone's resetting, then I'm removing the, the point of no return. So, so you guys got to finish this one or nothing? <laughs> and immediately... Immediately, Squid's like, I'm done. <laughs> he loses like one second because he took too many pictures okay. of Pidgey that's, and he's just like out. That's fair. I would, I would do the same. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let's move back into the interview section. All right, let's move everyone in. Oh my goodness. Squid, please. <laughs> Squid, you're going to win the tournament. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. I was like, all right, YOLO, everyone gets one more reset, and then you immediately squander it in, like, 30 seconds. Nah, dude, as soon as I saw, like, I missed first pitch, I was like, up, oh, GG, and then the second pitch, I was like, yo. I know this I had, like, 30 resets, but I'm not sure which ones counted and which which ones didn't. The one where you picked matter, the wrong character does not count. <clears throat> then I told you to reset. Because that happened, like, five times. 
I know it happened at least once. So, well, the other ones I don't know. I was rooting for you, Squidward. Yeah, but you got a 2105, so... Dude, you can beat that. Yeah, but I need to actually play this game more to beat that. Yeah, that's rough. I, got, no, I was saying that's that's just below Proto Man, so you'd have to jump up to seventh place in order to beat yeah. Levon's run here. When did Proto Man become a god gamer at this? Dude, same time as Liam. You know, he they started at the same time. You know, I think I don't think either of them had played the game either before or in a very long time, and uh, and they picked up the game and they got pretty good at it. So, also, I just want to say. I'm four out of five times getting Weeping Bolt Snipe with this c controller, so... That's 80%, that's pretty good. Four out of five, man. It's pretty good. Four, two, five. Mm -hmm. All right, well... Uh, like, 